And back here, a new report suggests the world's biggest 200 firms are wasting almost $240 billion worth of profits because of complicated production, technology and management structures. This is according to the Simplicity Partnership, which has calculated companies such as Deutsche Post, Nokia and BASF uh, and see the biggest hits to profits. For more, we're joined by Melvin Jay, founder of Simplicity. Uh, Melvin, good to see you. It's quite some accusation. Um, this, how, how do you come up with these numbers? What have you studied? Okay, so we've, um, we've taken the world's 200 biggest companies and we've looked at um, 18 different drivers of performance and complexity. These are all from published sources, um, so it's available data from um, company reports and databases that exist. And effectively what we've done is we've shown that there's a very clear, very simple relationship between the profit that a company makes and its complexity level. Okay, uh, so give us complex companies. You, you talk about Deutsche Post, Siemens, Nokia, Hewlett Packard. These are some of the most complicated companies. What makes them so complicated? Of course, it varies enormously from company to company. In the examples that you've quoted, you've got some businesses there that are in a lot of different markets, um, very high levels of R&D intensity, um, lots of different um, product sectors that they're trying to compete in, and a fairly high degree of external turbulence as well. So. Can they do anything about it or not? Yes. Um, what we've shown is that you can identify the bits of your business where the complexity is most serious. And if you can identify it and put a value on it, then surely you can start to do something about it. How, how long would it take you to run a report such as this, would you say, on it? Let's take Nokia, for example. How, how long would it take you? Um, based on what we've already got on Nokia, mm. um, a matter of days to run a report on Nokia. Okay. To go into more depth, maybe two or three weeks going into the company, um, gathering more data and we've got a, a big sample now that we can benchmark companies against to compare them and that allows us to show whether an individual company is um, suffering one particular form of complexity to a greater or lesser extent than another. And, and have you thought about going up the food chain and having a look at governments or is that just, uh, um, is that just too big? <laughs> yeah, the, the academic work is being done by Professor Simon Collinson and that's our next big um, project. It's harder because we're looking at a very um, strong statistical relationship between complexity and profit. Um, there isn't something as simple as profit, or in this case, EBITDA, in the public sector. So actually measuring performance is a bit harder. Do you, th do you think there's anything investable here? Well, no, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, I'd actually love to have a chat with you yeah. for one more time. But yeah, totally. And also, who tends to commission these reports? Is, it, is, is the company keen in your findings? Or you know, what, 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 if you like, is the business it's model? A, it's a pretty high-level CEO-level right. uh, discussion. Um, what we've seen is I think it's four out of five CEOs now saying they think complexity is a major problem, it's holding them back. So what they're saying is help us root out the problem, identify where it is, but importantly put a value on it because one of the big challenges you've had up until now is that nobody's actually known how big the problem is. So it's like saying you know, yeah. you've got a disease but I don't know where it is and I don't know if it's serious. It's not actually very helpful. So putting a number on it and being able to say exactly where it is gives you the opportunity to go after it. Um, by definition, you found the most complex, the most simple companies, um, Lowe's, Walgreen, Daiichi, Home Depot. What, what are these guys, what makes their life easier? Um, mainly operating in one country. So you've got American retailers um, like Walgreens and um, Lowe's in there, and you've got lots of Japanese financial institutions. Again, they're mainly operating in Japan or in America, and they're mainly in one market and they haven't really diversified into many other um, areas and that means that when you look inside those companies as well they haven't had to develop very com complex systems and processes to manage their world they can just pretty much do what they do um, relatively okay. easily. Okay, that sounds like a new, a new both a new research. Melvin, thanks so very much Dee for joining us. My Melvin pleasure. Jay, founder of Simplicity.